Uh, you um, mentioned Z- Z106.5. Uh, you don't know how close we came to that. Wow. Uh, Acton Corporation, I pitched the idea of building an FM station when that frequency could have been had for almost the asking. It was very... Well, I remember yeah, when they put I, country on it and I died. I went, yeah. what? Uh, but we country? Could have, we could have had it. We could have and then it, it ended up being a monster. And, and Acton <clears throat> Corporation wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah. Stupid. Well, Stephen didn't want anything to do with it. No, but, he, he uh, thought he we, thought the music was on AM. We tried he said, to, yeah. You know, he thought drive-ins were coming back. He said, no, we got to get an FM. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the drive-in is back. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> he's right. Back. It opened last night again. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Well, you know, we were talking about Madeline Murphy. She was the first news oh, girl yes. that we had here. Very talented. Indeed. Of course, we were told, you know, you have to have a certain amount of news to get FCC rules and regulations. So I said, Madeline, whatever the minimum amount of news <laughs> is, that's what I want. And so she uh, would have to come into the studio, use my headphones to do the news, because they didn't broadcast from the newsroom at the time. And she'd come and she put those headphones on. Of course, I had them cranked to the, to the limit. Yeah. And she would pull those things off and scream, scream at me for, turn those headphones phones down <laughs> so this went on for a while and she got so mad she hired an audiologist to come in and test everybody's hearing that's right i remember that I remember <laughs> swearing to prove to me that i needed hearing aid. <laughs> uh, uh, so we all went through the test and it came out the person with the worst hearing <laughs> was <Madeline. laughs> it's uh 1054 we got somebody on the line here hi uh thanks for calling in a z62 throwback weekend hey bobby this is buddy Buddy! Yes, sir. Tell the story, if you haven't told it already, about, I think it was Bob Dow who locked himself in the room and played West of the Wall no. all day long. It wasn't Bob Dow. Uh, who was that? Oh. Is this Buddy, is this buddy yeah. Adams? Yes. No, oh, he's, he's talking about GUI. Oh. That was a GUI it, story, yeah, That it? was like in the 60s. Uh, Jack, and that Jack, was Jack, Jackson, Jack Dalton. Jack, Jack Diamond. Dalton. Yeah, Jack Dalton. Dalton. Well, yeah, you know, and that was just a stunt. That oh, he, yeah. He, we, did it. we did it in Portland, only we played Hava Nagila. Yeah. Hava Nagila over and over and over yeah. again. Hava Nagila. You know, it's, it, it, was, it was like a stunt that, you know, is going to be all Elvis all the time. And, you know, it's not really. You know, hey, buddy. It, was, it was a stunt. Buddy. And, but and you it guys had the very first dating service when you used to call in on the request line. It was so busy that you could talk over the busy signal. And they'd be like fifteen to twenty kids. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Remember that, but yeah. Hey, buddy, jam the line. Have chicks back then, uh, buddy. The Beatles are not as good as the Beach Boys. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? Oh, 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 fighting oh, words, buddy. That's fighting words. <laughs> Go buddy. ahead, you tell him, buddy. Yeah. Go ahead. I still got my MG too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> buddy is the biggest Beatles fan in the world. You still got that Beatles wristwatch? Is he gone? Yes, I do. And you know, you talk about Mitch. Yeah. He gave me a bunch of uh, 45s when he was working on Presque Isle, and they were the the uh, uh, J, with a JV? Yeah, VJ. VJ, 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 VJ Records. Records. Yeah. yeah. There were songs on, the, on uh, a 45. Yes. And uh, he gave those to me, so I still got those. I <laughs> so used to go up there and play 45s at the same speed and then touch them, so it would phase, it would go into phase. Yes. We, doing that stuff. Yes. Where, well, where's the, Mitch now? Mitch is down in Florida. He's retired. Yeah, he's not doing the dog track anymore. Oh well, he might be doing that. <laughs> you know, Mitch. <laughs> for those of Barry, hey. did you know Mitch Mitchell? No, I worked uh, with him up at uh, WEGP. You in will not Island. believe that Mitch is the smartest guy in the world when it comes to the stock market. I mean, he could be on Bloomberg. He's really that smart when it comes to stocks. I wouldn't doubt it. It's I wouldn't just, doubt it. No, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't doubt it. You got his number? I could use some advice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, thing, the thing I remember, too, about yeah, Mitch... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that, buddy? I'm having fun. This is great. Good. Hey, thanks for calling in, buddy. All right, guys. For uh, for uh, for the longest time, uh, uh, Mitch came over here and he worked with us uh, right. at Z62. Well, and he, a, he did yeah, some mid He did everything. Yeah. And... Uh, he was so talented yep, the uh, on on the air, and yeah. and what you got to remember too is that all of the stuff that he was doing, voices, was him, yeah. right. was him, and a tape recorder yeah. while his, while the song was playing. Right, uh, Mitch would record a bit, and uh, you you know you you can see in the studio here. I would look in, and Mitch is in there, usually with no shirt on. <laughs> and uh, cigarettes go, and he's got a he's got a sandwich maker, you know, oh, yeah. a hot plate in here, cooking up stuff. 
and he's flying around the studio, throwing the chair, recording this, and then, and this is all in the course of, you know, Z62, our average song was like three and a half minutes long, right, right. and then he'd come back out of that song, he'd hit that tape and, and talk talk to himself on tape and do these incredible bits and then uh, you know sit back and he take a puff off a cigarette and uh, super talented he was really and talented Portland, yeah you know, i was at a, we worked with mitch down in portland and we was driving down uh near old orchard beach and he cop pulled over his car uh and i go oh, great and so the cop says hey uh <clears throat> i pulled you over because you have no front license plate and mitch says oh yeah i've got a front license plate he says what are you talking about come take a look you have no front license plate oh yeah she, it fell off the front. I put it on the back. That, <laughs> that back plate is the front yeah. license plate. <laughs> and the yeah. cop goes, I'm going to let you go because that's good. And that's I'm gonna pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, went, Mitch went from here down to uh, down to Florida, worked all these radio yeah. down there for yeah. a long time. You you stayed in touch oh, with yes. him. You stayed in touch yeah. with him. He's a, he was just a Great unbelievable guy. talent and a, and a wonderful singer. Yes. He had an unbelievable rock and roll voice. Yeah. And he, I, he had a band. He had a band yeah. in, up in the county. His, yeah. I think he had a chance to go big time yeah, at one point, but he, yeah. he was like you know, 16 and his parents wouldn't let him go or something like that. Right. That's I, bad, yeah. The thing I remember about Mitch, we had a Christmas party uh, when he was at Z62, and he picked up this girl for the first time to take her to the Christmas party, and he picked her up wearing a jacket, a tie, no shirt. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's Mitch. And Mitch says... If she has a sense of humor and she likes that, we'll be able to get along fine. <laughs> Icebreaker. <laughs> I said, Mitch, aren't you cold? He goes, yes, I'm yeah. really cold. Uh, it's, uh, oh, look, it's, uh, it's 11 o'clock here. We, we've gone for two hours already. W. Z O N Bangor, 98.3 Bangor, and uh, W K I T H D 2 Brewer. I got to do that every once in a while. Got to keep it legal, guys. We always tried to keep it legal, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> always tried to keep it legal. Let me uh, let me do a quick break here, and uh, we'll be back with more with the uh, Z62 Throwback Weekend. Z62.